hello everyone it's sing and welcome back to another shaders video in today's video i'm basically going to be answering some of your guys's questions when it comes to terms such as shaders keybinds how to open the file troubleshooting with shaders and all that i've been noticing i have a lot of comments on my updated shaders tutorial just asking me so many things that i didn't even know about that were there and i took a look at the Roshid website and I realized, damn, they really upgraded this whole thing. So what I want to do is basically answer you guys' questions all over again and show you guys how I install them again, this time with more deeper information on what you may need and more solutions to your problem. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and bell button down below so you'll be notified for more videos in the future. And last but not least, if you guys want to follow me on all my social media platforms, you could do that down below. They're linked in the description and it really helps support the channel. Alright, let's get right into the video. Alright, so this is Roche.com now and it looks really, really different. As you can tell, if you scroll down, all of these new features are going to come up. And then they decided to do this more graphic appealing website where you can see the difference. But I don't know why, they just made this website super laggy. But you don't have to worry about any of these. All these presets are just here to spark your attention. All you have to do is go to the top and click download. Once you're here, you'll see this free package and then this pro package. Honestly, don't even worry about the pro. There's literally nothing useful in there. And it's just if you really want to pay, what you're going to do is click download for the free. It's going to take you to this tab and you're going to have to wait about five seconds before this button pops up. And when you're going to click this, it's going to take you to another tab, which is a media fire tab. And you're going to click this big blue button to download the file if it doesn't start click repair your download here and it should automatically start again once it's done downloading you're going to want to open it and usually since this is an updated version of shaders it should open automatically without any problems but of course everyone's pc is super different so i'm going to show you some ways you can open this if you're having some problems first you can locate it in your downloads and try opening it by clicking or double clicking or left clicking to see more options try doing things like run as administrator or troubleshoot compatibility to see more information about the file you can also try opening this file with an app called breezip and what you want to do is go to your microsoft store search up breezip and download this app and once you download this app you can go inside and open the file with breezip anyway once you got this file opened up you're going to click install here is where you're going to choose your keybinds. Now let's give you a little background on what keybinds are. So here is your normal Windows keyboard. Your keyboard may look different, but honestly, that's not really important as long as you have the keys. Keybinds are key controls that you use to open something or just do a normal function on your computer. Roshade allows you to choose two different keys for your keybinds depending on what computer you have. You can either choose f8 to turn on and off your shaders or you could choose home to turn off and on your shaders you can choose f7 to turn on your shader settings or you can choose end to turn on your shader settings on my computer since it's more different these keys alone do not work meaning if i press one of these keys to turn on my shaders they won't turn on because my keyboard won't know that i am in a game and they'll think that i'm on my normal desktop so they open up something from the window settings to make this stop i usually click fn with each button so this means i would click fn plus f8 or fn plus f7 or fn plus home you get what i mean if you click both of these buttons together it will eventually open up that control that you're trying to use anyway after you've chosen your desired keybinds for each thing click next and then you want to make sure all of these presets are checked off and then you're going to hit install once you're in a game, click F7, well, any keybind you chose to open your settings, and you're going to see all these new settings, and there's going to be so much, but make sure every single setting is ticked off, except for SSR and ADOF. I mean, those are my settings, but if you guys want more settings, go ahead, more the merrier. 
anyways guys that's going to be the end of today's video i hope this solved some of your questions with opening the file and the key binds explained i really just wanted to make a video clearing all this up because so many people had so many questions and i really wanted to help all of you guys but anyways if you guys did find this video helpful or you just like it in general make sure to give it a like subscribe and hit that bell button to stay notified for more videos in the future and also if you guys would like more shader videos please comment them down because then i'll be able to see it and it's way easier to make a video and be able to help everyone instead of just helping one person and explain it over the comments i feel like that's very much of a hassle all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and bye bye i love you